and on to Maria. So thank you very much. I'm really, really privileged to be here with you. And I'm really happy to be to be part of this uh, Compania. And I'm really happy to, to have written a, a, a chapter for Erwin's book because I think the upshift, the great upshift is the most important thing what we, what we can do in our life. And uh, my topic is how can I bring something to this upshift because I am a natural healer. A natural healer who does uh, her job and the question is how is this connected to the great upshift? I think it's a very, very important thing because as we have heard uh, from Professor Kumar, we are soul and we are also consciousness. We have also a trinity. And in, in our world, today's world, this trinity is not accepted. In this trinity, everybody is, is ill and, uh, and uh, more ill. And we have a lot of problems. We have a lot, lot of uh, disagreement. We have a lot of depression. And uh, and uh, and no way out, and a lot of pain, and so on and so on. And what we do, we go to the doctor, we go to the mainstream, um, mainstream and we have uh, biochemical means and alternative medicine, and we just kill the bacteria, kill the virus, and so on. And we will be more ill and more ill, and never and never healthy. What's to do, and why is it that, in my experience, that the problem is? that the mainstream uh, medicine thinks that we are a biochemical machine, but we people and, and the whole organism is not a biochemical machine. It is a very complex system, a very beautiful and very complex system of, of the physical, of the uh, mental, of the spiritual. So we are a very complex thing, like a symphony. And our body has a conductor, and this conductor is the information. This is the information that governs all the biochemical system. So if we if we do just uh, cure the biochemical system, it doesn't work because because uh, the origin, the cause is the information. We have to cure the information. And if the information is cured, then the biochemical system will be automatic. Uh, uh, cured. So this is what I am doing and I think that is the most beautiful thing because uh, there are many many aspects what we have to think about. In this information healing there are two aspects what uh, were very important. The one is the holistic aspect and the other aspect is the informational aspect. The holistic aspect is that every cell and every small part not only the body, but in the in, in, in the entire universe, they are connected. We are all connected, and everything what happens in a one small part, it affects all other parts in the body and all other parts in, in, in the environment. So this is the holistic aspect. The holistic aspect was always known in the ancient uh, societies and the ancient culture. Think about uh, the old Chinese, the old Egypt, old Mexican, and some Indian cultures. They always knew that, that everything is connected and everything is interrelated. But right now, today, we have a fantastic uh, development of the techniques and in this technical development, we have forgotten that everything is connected. And therefore, we just, we just see one pass and one thing and one uh, aspect of, of the problem. And this one aspect is, it, it is not being cured because it is, it, it is just connected. We have to find out what is the whole, what is the source of the whole, and how can we do the source. So the other thing is the information. As I told already, the information is uh, like David Bohm told us, that information is in formation with a hyphen. It means that information is a subconscious a source which affects the body, and not only the body, but this very complex entity, this very complex oneness, and this inform information rules the whole machinery and the whole aspects of the body. And if we can 
can detect the problem of this information, then it will be automatically healed. So the old techniques of healing in the Far East, originated in the Far East, they are all holistic and informational. Think about the Chinese, think about the, uh, the Indians, think about all other things. And now I would like to tell you what I am doing because it's a modern variant of this so I'm uh, the method what I'm doing this information method is based on the Chinese medicine and the Chinese meridian system and the Chinese energy system but includes also uh, the other one it is it is the European one uh, the, the the homeopathy the classical homeopathy uh, by, by Hahnemann and it's a third one, which is a very interesting thing that about 5,000 years ago, it was found Ocean border, frozen man, and there they, they was find some parallel geometric forms on the body. It was an Ostia person, Erich Kerber, who find out that the information that uh, the parallel sign and the sinus and the Y, they are geometric forms. They act as antenna in a very high vibration as, 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 as the human system and also the living system because it is also very effective for, uh, for the animals and also for the vegetables. So it is very interesting that 5,300 years ago, we have already these signs and these parallel lines, and, uh, and we have also around the world uh, these parallel signs. That is very effective if we use it. So I use this system, and it means that I can heal with it also remotely. Erich Kerber based and developed a system, a vector system, and they developed a one hand uh, as a pendulum. And with this pendulum, if you learn this, how, how to use this, this pendulum simply shows you the electromagnetic uh, variation and the electromagnetic outcome of the body. And through this electromagnetic outcome of the body, you can do a very good uh, diagnosis. And through this, it is possible to detect the informational problem, the information is the main thing what we have to find out if it's a problem and the information is how to be, we, we have to cure if it's, if it's necessary to cure. And all these things, all these ancient things, as all the modern information medicines like, like uh, uh, acupuncture, new homeopathy, the classical homeopathy, and so and so, they are all information means. And this information, it means that they, they are vibrating, they are measuring the vibration, and they find out what is the correct vibration to this vibration, what it, what it is helping. For instance, yeah, it is a biochemical professor, he measured a lot of, lot of uh, things, with biophotons, and he had an excellent idea and excellent, excellent theory why the high potency of the classical potential, uh, classical homeopathy is affecting. And uh, he thinks that you have a resonance, and the per person who is ill has also a, a frequency. And this frequency has to have the opposite frequency with, which can balance this fre frequency. And if you find this frequency, then the healing process is very quick and very and, and very deep. If you do not find this frequency, which is just parallel to the frequency, then you can give anything, but but the the, the healing process will not not occur because the, the the frequency is not the right frequency. For instance, the radionic radionic device. Everybody knows the radionic device. The radionic has a very long history in the in, in the past uh, hundred or or hundred fifty years. Radionic is always everybody is working with frequencies. So we we have to detect the frequency which is good and which is bad, and we have to find out what is the right frequency which correct this melody. So uh, I I would suggest to do the information medicine to ensure and to do the upshift because it is also an old age 
uh, wisdom that in a healthy body is a healthy mind. But if the body is not healthy, you have problems, that and that and that, it's not possible to do the upshift consciously because the body, it, it, it is just there and, and it, pain and it's not, not a good feeling and so on. So you have to have the healthy body and the healthy body, you have to do all this complex system and have to have to think about that everything is together and everything is one. Everything has to be uh, interconnected and has to, has to be cooperate because a cooperation is the main thing. If if uh, somebody not cooperating, then then it's just once in 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 the universe. It's it's not good. And another aspect is the prevention. The old Chinese thought that the prevention is most important than the curing. Everybody knows that. <laughs> 